Paradoxes have to do with valid arguments, and it is the concept of a valid argument that we are going to explain in this first video. Now that an argument is valid, generally speaking, means that it is impossible for its premises to be true and its conclusion false, right? So consider the following argument. If Socrates is a man, then Socrates is mortal. Socrates is a man, therefore Socrates is mortal. Now this argument is clearly valid, right? But that the argument is valid does not mean that its premises are true or that its conclusion is not false, right? And not even that, as a matter of fact, it is not the case that the premises are true and the conclusion false. That the argument is valid means that it is impossible for its premises to be true and its conclusion false, right? So consider this second argument, right? If Socrates is a Martian, he will invade Earth. Socrates is a Martian, therefore he will invade Earth, right? Now this argument is clearly valid, right? But the conclusion, at least I don't believe that Socrates is gonna invade Earth, so I better not believe some of the premises, right? Because if I believe the premises, I am bound to believe the conclusion, right? This is validity. Validity is a matter of, it is impossible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false, right? If it were true, the, if the premises were true, the conclusion will have to be true as well, right? So far, so good, right? This is very nice. But the problem is explaining what impossibility is in the present context, right? Because the history of philosophy is crowded with literature on what modal notions mean, right? Fortunately, we've got a rather simple analysis of the notion of impossibility involved in valid arguments, right? We say, and this is like our official general definition, we will say that an argument is valid when there is no interpretation of the non-logical vocabulary where the premises are true and the conclusion false. Right? This means that in a valid argument, we should distinguish between logical and non-logical vocabulary. So for example, here, Socrates is a man. This will be non-logical vocabulary. Right? And Socrates is mortal. This will be another proposition, simple proposition, non-logical vocabulary. And the conditional is part of the logical vocabulary. Right? So I repeat, and this is the definition that we will use in this course, that an argument is valid means that it, there is no interpretation of the non-logical vocabulary while the premises are true and the conclusion false. Right, I'll see you in a minute.